in a particular week the average number of people visited a museum is 70 if we exclude the holidays then the average number is increased by 28 further if we exclude the day which is the maximum of 220 uh, 210 visited the museum then the average becomes 40 find the number of holidays in a week so it is talking about average number of people visiting a museum right it says that in a particular week uh, in a particular week the average number of people who visited a museum is 70 if we exclude the holidays then the average number is increased by 28 then the average is increased by 28 i think these two statements alone will help us find out the number of holidays in a week right ultimately we have to find out the number of holidays in that week of course there's some more data given to us which says if we exclude the day which the maximum of 210 visited then the average becomes 40. well that statement is given to us in my view it is redundant right this this part of the question is not really needed i think a simple mental calculation will help you understand that the answer is option four there will be two holidays in that week i'll, I'll explain you how right let's, let's look at the solution now see average number of people is 70 average is equal to 70 means what the number of people will be 70 into 7 because there are 7 days in a week average for the week is 70 so total number of people will be 70 into 7 490 and the total number of people is going to remain the same I mean of course this average is for the entire week right the average number of people who visited the museum is 70 for the whole week which also includes holidays but then even if you exclude the holidays the total number of people will remain the same the average will change because the number of days will change the number of days that you consider will change but total number of people will remain the same so we very clearly know that the number of people who visited that museum that week was 490 now look at the next point if we exclude the holidays then the average number is increased by 28 if you exclude the holidays if you exclude the holidays this is average is 70 including holidays right average is 70 including holidays but if you exclude the holidays then the average number is increased by 28 so what is the new average by the way if you exclude the holidays it will be 70 plus 28 which is equal to 98 this is excluding holidays right this is excluding holidays 98 right there are 98 uh, people visiting on an average during the week excluding the holidays we have to find out the number of holidays now the simple point is i know that the total is 490 and i also know that the average number of people visiting during the non-holidays is 98 so can you simply say that the number of working days i mean if you say week has got holidays and working days the number of working days is 490 by 98 yes or no so the number of working days i mean i i don't know why the last statement is given there maybe just to confuse us but it's very simple number of working days will be equal to what total 490 people divided by the average of 98 490 by 98 how much is that five days right five days so if there are five working days then the number of holidays will be two obviously so what is so complex about it two should be the answer option four and don't go by the length of the explanation or all these steps that have been put on paper i mean you don't write all this right average equal to 70 including holidays number of people is 17 to 7 490 these are all mental calculations i mean you know this you know that 70 plus 28 is 98 so don't waste your time in writing this step all you need to do is divide 490 by 98 the total number of people is 490 total number of people is 490 divide that by 98 you know when you divide the total by average you will get the number of days that's the that, that I mean, what is the equation here average is equal to number of people by number of days whether it is working days or holidays or all days whatever it is so i know that number of people is 480 490 average for working days is 98 so 480 by 98 will give me the number of working days number of working days is 5 implies number of holidays is 2 so option 4 will be your answer